everybody, I'm Kim Gow and welcome to the world of Colour Passion. Today I thought we'd do something a little different. Uh, people are always asking me, I want this colour, I want that colour, how do I do this colour? So today I thought I'd just show you some, uh, some playing with colours to mix them together so that we can make other colours. And so uh, we're going to use the Colour Passion paste, we're going to use the Colour Passion mica powders and we're also going to use our famous gel tints and I'm going to show you mixing them together uh, what you can create but the sky's the limit you can get so many different colors and shades just from one uh, you know one, one color really so we'll have a bit of a play and hopefully you might pick up a tip or two so without further ado uh, we'll get having some fun okay I'll be back in just a moment Alrighty, here we are and we're going to have a play so what I'm going to do, I will choose different colours and show you how, well, what I'm going to do, how to change colours, make colours. Then what we're going to do is we'll do a pour. So I think we'll start on this side. So what I'm going to do, I've got a classic blue and a butterscotch. And so what I'm going to do, I've decided, is this will make sort of like um, a darker green um, because it's still blue based and yellow based. So I'm just going to take a scoop of each. Pop it in there. I'm always giving a bit of a stir first. Not going to work, is it? So I'm just going to tidy that up a little. To one side. All right. So it's sort of a, um, a bluey green, but I can always add more if I want to make it sort of like a, a lighter colour. But you can see on the end there, it looks quite dark. I might actually put in a bit more of the yellow, or butterscotch in this case. Probably not the best cups to mix them in actually, but I just I might get some little ones out actually. So it's easier to mix small amounts. So anyway, there you go. So there's sort of like um a, a it's a warmer green and darker green. So that's with the butterscotch and the classic blue for that one. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just get some simple cups here, I think, to show you easier. Uh, here we go. And there's the, the little ones, I think that might be a bit better. Okay, so we're going to do a lighter green now. So I'm going to use Cerulean. That's our... Oops, it's a really good colour actually, Cerulean. I love using that in a lot of my ocean pours. Okay, so we've got Cerulean. And some lovely light lemonade. Because we've got um, the lighter colours, as in a cool, uh, you know, a warmer Sorry, a cooler tone. And the pigments are so strong too, so we don't need a lot. I think I'm going to make a little bit more of the yellow. Because I want it a bit lighter than that. And this is the beauty of it when, you know, you're home and you can mix them yourselves and... And then that way, you can tailor it to what you like. So there we have a green shade, which is quite different to that one. Sorry, trying to see if you can see it. That one's quite a, a deep green for the warmer palette, and then that's a lighter one in the green. And probably if I wanted to make that lighter again, I would simply add more of the the lemonade more of the yellow to make that a lighter brighter green so 
Okay, now, getting uh, these everywhere here. Just use a bit of um, alcohol just to clean my glass down so I don't contaminate them for other colours. I thought um, <clears throat> we might have do a bit of a mixture of spearmint. Spearmint always separates, but it's a gorgeous colour. But we might mix some spearmint and we'll put a drop of the, the sapphire gel tint. These tints are amazing and you don't need a lot. One little drop is probably all I need. Just to sort of change it up a bit and give it sort of a bit more of a, a bluey, a bluey colour, as opposed to um, a lighter one. We're going to add a little bit more drop. As I said, it's only a weeny drop that I'm putting in there. Hardly anything. The gel tints are great because if you use them on their own. Perhaps we can do that in the pour to demonstrate it. Um, they're totally transparent and they will add depth to your pour. And as I say, you can certainly add depth to your piece by using them. And they're great for obviously um, mold pouring. If you want to just have a tint of a color or you just want to change up a color. I normally do it obviously when I'm into the resin. So it's, it's a little difficult sort of doing this now because um, I'm used to doing it into resin but I thought well if I mix the resin while we were waiting it um, <laughs> it'll probably start to go off by the time I get all these colors mixed so that's why I haven't done it it's nice and it's just just given it sort of a, a bit of a bluish um, look as opposed to um, a lighter one that it is so that's our spearmint. So we're getting a little bit of a selection here. Um, I thought we would use um, the Cootsie Shimmer, which is a, a gorgeous bluey, greeny sort of a colour. Probably more blue. And just to show you, okay, if we want to lighten this, what are we going to do? So, a really good way to do it is to add some white shimmer, which is one of our very popular, very popular uh, powders. Just bring a bit in there, and that will lighten it down. Just slowly stirring that. Not so hard without that resin. I'll just add a little bit of alcohol into that. Just to help just get a little bit more liquid. And when we go to um, pour this, you'll see that it's quite a lot lighter. So that's a really, I didn't probably show it much there, but that, that's a really good way to show you how to lighten it once it's, you'll see it poured. Okay, so that's our cootsie. <clears throat> One of my favorite things to do with Blue Passion is to add in any of the darker colours actually. Oh, we've got a new one here. Just have to break that seal. The seals can be a bit of a pain, but they're obviously put on to prevent leakage in shipping, uh, particularly to our international desti destinations. Overseas, we want you guys to have products that haven't leaked. So, what I'm going to do is put the blue in and add 
one of my favourite combinations is the Max White Sparkle. Again, with any of the darker colours, um, it is amazing. It's just got the most brilliant sparkle like diamonds. It's just gorgeous. And I generally, when I'm doing my ocean pours, when I'm doing the, uh, the darker sea, it's the, this blue that I add into it and the sparkle. And again, when um, I put this into some resin, that's when it, it takes a new life onto its own. Because you can't really see much there, I don't think. A little bit of alcohol just to mix it a little. As I say, normally I would just be putting this straight into the resin. A bit hard to see there, but, but have faith. Can, <laughs> we will continue on. Okay, Jackie Shimmer is a gorgeous shade, um, and that's very, very dark blue, as you can see, like a midnight blue. And um, I'm thinking, well, if we wanted to lighten that, which um, I know that, some of you might want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're just putting that into the little cup and then I'm going to add some pearl white luster. The pearl white luster is amazing. To get some more, just about running out of this. Okay. And we can see even that on the edge of the spatula, it's really pretty. So you can see how just um, playing and adding different um, colours together, how you can create a whole new array of colours. So even that, it's, um, it's light, but I'd like it lighter. Actually, what I might do, I might, no, I'll leave it at this. I was going to say, I'll add some of the white shimmer powder, but we'll go with this. Let's see what it turns out like in the resin. quite a lot lighter than obviously what it was so we'll, we'll play with that for now put it to one side um, the other thing that um, I've been playing with is I've been adding the um, the violet sparkle blue sparkle red sparkle um, did I say blue blue sparkle the sparkles all together um, and then adding them into uh, something dark like the ebony luster for argument's sake or the jackie shimmer um, it, it turned out really pretty so i'm going to show you that um, in in a little bit uh, but let's let's i'm just going to mix some resin up now um, and then we can add to them and you can see all right don't go away i'll be back in just a minute all right so i have now mixed the uh, resin we're using the Barnes epoxy resin, epoxy glass. It's a it's a beautiful resin. So what I'm going to do now is just pour into the cups, and then we'll add the colours and see what happens. I won't use all of them because otherwise it'll be just too much. But um, should have got a really big board, shouldn't I? And then we could have gone, had a wonderful time. And um, I did want to save some for the white. So we're just going to go into the green blue palette with this this one because I can maybe do another one with other color 
uh, tones. So, okay, so I'll we'll pop the resin around, um, maybe just a little bit more into the white. All right, so we'll start with the ebony luster. And just give that a bit of a stir. It's probably too much actually, so we don't need a lot. And uh, where's my little cup? Here we go. What I've done here, well, actually, no, I'll mix this first for you. So this is like a black luster. It's um, got a gorgeous sheen to it. So what I'm going to do, I've mixed up um, the different colours of the uh, sparkle interference that I was sharing with you before. So I'm now just going to put it all in together. So it's going to give a gorgeous, lovely sparkle with all those different colours shining through. It's going to be stunning. Okay, so the next one we're going to use, uh, this one I believe was the uh, Cootsie Shimmer. And what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to add a little bit more of the white sparkle into this. I mean, it's really pretty, but it was just very hard to mix it up out of the resin. So I'm just now going to add some more in and maybe a little bit more. Why not? Given it a beautiful luster now. Gorgeous, light, and that went from like a really um, dark colour, which was that colour. So I don't know if you can see it there if it's picking it up very well. But there it might. So just from one colour, you've been able, able to create a, a sensational colour, but obviously lighter. Now I thought we would mix the green luster and the teal luster together just to show you that you can do exactly the same thing with the powders. Now I've never done this so goodness only knows what it's going to turn out like but we'll give it a go. Teal luster is really pretty. Got a gorgeous amount of sparkle in it. And there you have it. So that's created a totally new shade of colour by putting those two together. Very pretty. And it's got a nice sparkle to it as well. Right, we've got the white. Okay, we'll have the, the blue sparkle. We'll do that next. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't need a lot, I'm just trying to sort of take it off because we don't have a lot there. It's in resin. I do love my sparkle. I must confess, that is gorgeous. Really pretty. And just when the sunlight hits that, it's amazing. Okay, the next one we'll go to is, this was the Jackie Shimmer. And we lighten that down a little. Still might like to lighten it down a bit more just to show you. What I might do with that one is add some white shimmer just to give it a bit of shimmer because it's a bit flat
it's got a beautiful shimmer to it now and it's in a really medium medium blue to soft blue so now we're going to mix this one i think i'm going to have to add some more sapphire tint into it just to give it a little bit more of a bluer hue So it's very hard when you're just mixing it in the cup because I always do it, you know, when I'm actually pouring like now. Then I look at it and I think, oh, do I need a bit more? Do I need a bit less? And I go from there. And add just a smidge more. Hmm, good. Happy with that. And now we'll just add a little bit of the white. So let's give it a bit of, always give the paste a stir before you work with them, just in case things have settled. No, I don't need much at all. This would be plenty. Usually five, five to 10% is the ratio that uh, is advised for mixing colorants into the resin. If you go over that, you can create a chemical reaction where they um, go really, really, really hot. They like set off and then you'll steam and uh, you've ruined your resin, so you've wasted it. So, okay, right, well, we've done that. So now we're gonna pour and see what this turns out like. Actually, one thing I will show you now is I have um, put the cup on its side. That's a bit more resin there. I can put that into there, maybe. Um, I've put the mixing cup on the side because the resin will uh, go around that spatula. And then when I come back when it's cured, I can then pull it out. And I actually kept one aside here to show you exactly how it works. See, it all comes out. That's perfectly clean. I can use that again now. And then it's almost like a, a glad wrap, if you like, sort of around, because it's just the thin um, curing of the resin, which was in that cup. So it's a really good little pro tip so that you can keep reusing your cups. Okay, so from here, let's pour this and see what it turns out like. Goodness only knows because it's, a couple of the colors are a bit similar, but anyway just to show you and give you an idea. Alrighty. Let's put that up the top, right up there. This blue passion has always been a favorite of mine. It really is quite, um, quite a gorgeous shade. And I mean, you can add white to it to lighten it. People say to me, well, I'd like a gray. Well, same thing, I mean, it's black with white added to it. And if you want to make it a lighter gray, then you simply add more white. So it, it doesn't have to be, you know, too difficult. All right, we'll do that. We'll then add this one here. This one, I think, get a bit confused now, which is what, but anyway. I think this is the, um, the powders, yeah, the powders that we mix together. Some lovely, lovely sparkle on that, that's for sure. That'd be that um, teal luster. It's very pretty. Then we'll add a bit of spearmint with a bit of blue mixed with it. Obviously, mix it too well there. Then 
we've got the Jackie Shimmer, which we've added a little bit of white, and then we added the white shimmer, just to give it a bit of shimmer. Which is very, very different from the original Jackie Shimmer, I'm sure you would realize, because that's, it's almost, it's a midnight blue, it's so dark, so you can see how you can create magic. And <clears throat> didn't have a lot of this, but um, where am I going to put it now? I might have to just put a little bit sort of down here. This is this uh, ebony, and it's got the the um, interference sparkle colours all mixed into it, which is going to be I think, quite pretty. here to fill up that gap. Bring this one over here. And we'll just finish off with a little bit of white. I might just sort of do that all over. looks a mess but hey we're just creating it just to show you what happens with all the different colors okay so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to hit it with the torch to get rid of the bubbles then I'm just going to tilt it so that all the boards covered and I've got my tape on there because what I will do is come back in about 20 minutes or so and I'll remove that tape and then roll it over the edge or well, the resin will roll over the edge and it will have lovely edges okay so that's that all right now Torch. This is the butane, which is always a rare butane, it's great, but it has a tendency to burn. So we do need to be a little careful. Just touching it. You can see that top cell white is amazing. How it just laces up. It's just incredible. leave it at that because sometimes you can overdo it then you start burning things so um, yeah let's just let it sit now for 20 minutes and uh, I'll pop back and show you um, once we remove that tape what happens all right I'll be back in a moment all right we're back the time's been about 15 minutes I could have let it go a bit longer because it's a bit cooler here today the hotter it is where you are, then the faster, you know, it, it's going to go off, um, so to speak. So what I'm going to do now is just with my fingers, I'm just going to roll around so that I have the bottom edge at least wet with resin. We've got plenty here, so I don't believe that there's going to be any issue at all. Um, and this will now just, it will pull over a bit more um, if it was... 
had sat longer or started to sort of uh, cure, if we like, um, set up, then it, it would barely move. But um, I like it to have a bit of movement. So basically what will happen now is it will roll over gently though. It won't flood over because we have let it sit that time and uh, it should be beautiful. So um, let's leave it, we'll let it cure. Uh, and then what we'll do is uh, tomorrow I'll come back, we'll show you the reveal and, um, and we can chat some more about colour and uh, what we can do and I'll also show you um, a couple of other um, moulds that I did uh, with it as well. So, um, okay, I shall catch you up tomorrow once it's cured. Hello there, it's the morning after our pour and I wanted to show you the reveal. Okay, so we've got the beautiful, that's turned out so, so pretty. That is the teal luster mixed with the green luster. We have got the beautiful sparkle. I don't know if you can pick that up. It's beautiful as what I'm seeing it. But that is the blue passion with the max white sparkle. We have got the uh, spearmint with the blue uh, the sapphire, the gel tint added into that one. This one down here, I believe if I've got it right, I think that's the uh, Cootsie, um, Cootsie Shimmer. And we added the white um, shimmer powder into that one. Really pretty. We have the Ebony Luster into that one there. And, we, and I added in some of the um, mixture of the sparkle, the interference sparkle. And there's another beautiful, example of that over here as well that is glistening so so pretty here in the morning light just sort of maybe pick it up a bit i'm actually going to bring out that as a color i've decided and i'm adding in some other bits into that as well and that's going to be called kaleidoscope sparkle interference really really pretty so i'm going to uh, be releasing that very shortly so keep an eye out for that and uh, I think you'll be really thrilled with it. Um, really love here how this has opened up through to the blue. It's, it's really pretty here. So all in all, um, I, I hope you've learned a couple of things. Um, it's given you a couple of ideas. I thought for the next video, I actually might uh, go to the warmer palette. Here we've done the cooler palette. And I thought we might try the warmer palette. So keep an eye out for that because that will be coming out uh, in in the next uh, week. Uh, I'd like to try and do these weekly and uh, I hope that you will enjoy that. So I also wanted to show you, um, I've just got another couple of bits here. This one here is so, so pretty. This was the Jackie Shimmer and I added um, the, the new, what I'm gonna call the Kaleidoscope Sparkle Interference into that. It is so pretty. The sparkle is just extraordinary. And it always works so lovely. With the Jackie Shimmer, with this one, I actually added um, some white, if you recall, to, to uh, really soften it. And then um, I added the sparkle. So, uh, yep, this is really, really pretty. And uh, I also had a bit of ebony as well. I don't know if you can see that there ebony luster and I added some into that and just into a, a coaster with some leftover and uh, that is sparkling beautifully out here in the morning sun not sure if you're picking it up as much as I am but anyway you got the idea so um, yeah I'm excited about that color and uh, I'll be bringing that out uh, very soon so keep an eye out for that if you've enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and I would really love you to subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to build it and I know with your support we'll get there so I look forward to seeing you on the next video bye for now